Oh, good evening. Forgive me for interrupting your reverie, but I saw you from across the room and thought you looked dreadfully lonely, standing at the bar by yourself. If you'd prefer I leave you to it, I'd certainly be willing. No. Good. Indeed, why would you have come to something like this if you didn't want to socialize a little? Astarian. Astarian and Kunin. Delightful to meet you, and might I say, lovely to meet another elf at something like this. We seem to be so few and far between these days. My, what a firm grasp, and such warm hands. Most people here seem to be cold-blooded, that is, if they have any blood at all. Ha! <laughs> oh no, in my case it's merely a matter of poor circulation. I make up for it in other ways. Tell me, how did you find your way into this nest of vipers? Oh, I simply mean that the nobles of Baldur's Gate are not typically the friendliest lot. I fear some may include me in that group. I probably don't do myself any favours in that regard. The cold hands don't help, I'm sure you'd agree. There's little I can do about that, though, aside from wear gloves, and I struggle to find any that suit me. If you know of a good glover, perhaps you could let me know. Hmm. A pity. But I digress. How did you find yourself here? I noticed that you were not making quite such an effort to ingratiate yourself with everybody else. Most people are here to get in the good books of higher society, which typically means talking to people. That's not the case for you? No, I thought as much. Then what is it? If you're just here for the drinks, then that's understandable. I don't know who it is that runs these events, but they do put on a very generous open bar. Makes sense to make the most of it. Is that what it is? I wouldn't blame you. Wouldn't I? Yes, I would like to know. That's why I asked. Still, fine. If you want to put me through the mill in order to get to know you, then I shall. I like a little game. Just a little, though. Don't make me work too hard, or I might lose interest. <laughs> no, I'm most certainly not used to being made to work hard. Most people are falling over themselves to get to know me. Hells, most people who attend events like this are falling over themselves to get to know everybody. It's as though there's a competition to see who can have the most connections. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Everybody here is obsessed with power. And to be fair, connections have a tremendous amount of value in this city. Virtually as much as money itself. Mm hmm. I must say, your lack of boastfulness is refreshing. We may have only been talking for a few minutes, but by now, anybody here would have taken the opportunity to drop at least half a dozen names. I don't think you've dropped a single one. Your self-control is very impressive. Or perhaps you simply don't have any names to drop? Oh, you do? Just the one? Well, go on then. Who do you know? Uh, but that's me. Oh. <laughs> very good. Very, very good. My, my. <laughs> I'm not used to laughing so sincerely at things like this. A polite chuckle is usually the most I'm able to muster. So few in the upper echelons have much of a sense of humour. You really got me, though. <laughs> I almost don't... Uh, no. Never mind. No, really. Never mind. Just thinking out loud when I shouldn't have been. Uh, can I get you a drink? I see your glass is dry. Has been since I came over. Come to think of it, 
How terribly rude of me not to have offered you one already. Well, I thought I'd get you something not included in the open bar. It only covers the basics, even if the basics in a situation like this happen to be very good. Still, I think we can do better than the house wine, don't you? Hmm, that's the spirit. Let's see, why not celebrate our shared background? I could go for some Elverquist. We'll have to forego the sunlight ritual and drink it in its non-magic form, though. A bit late in the day for sunlight, I'm afraid. Plus, it would be frightfully awkward doing something like that in the middle of the bar. You haven't had it before? Well, then you simply must try it. Bartender, two measures of Elverquist, if you have it. Lovely. In fact, make them doubles. Why not? Put them on my tab. There's a good fellow. <laughs> it's been a while since I had Elverquist, come to think of it. Oh, now I'm looking forward to it. I do wonder what it's like to have it when it's freshly made, rather than having been carted halfway across Faerun and kept in a cellar for years. Ah, here we go. Hmm, that is... Good. What do you think? Uh, I'm so glad you like it. Cheers. Uh, I suspect it may not be quite as good as it would be had it undergone the customary ritual, but luckily I've never had it that way, only in its basic form. So this isn't spoiled for me. Alas, no. I have never been to or anywhere near Everesca. It remains as much of an enigma to me as it does to everybody else. No, my concerns are planted very much here, in Baldur's Gate. I have little time for goings-on outside of the city, I'm afraid to say. Work keeps me ever so busy. I was a magistrate, working to keep the peace in Baldur's Gate. Imprisoning troublemakers, that kind of thing. It wasn't bad, you know. Certainly allowed me to make some powerful connections. However, some elements of it were difficult or dangerous, even. Working with criminals, well, it took its toll. Now I work as something of a personal assistant for a noble of the city. Not the kind that would attend an event like this, for better or for worse. <laughs> I'm afraid not. No. I'm required by my contract of employment not to divulge my employer's name, unless it's strictly necessary for his business. Best not overthink it, though. It's much less exciting and mysterious than that makes it sound. Nothing more than a paranoid businessman. I'm sure he wouldn't mind me saying that about him. Or perhaps he would, but, well, he's not here. Best keep it between us, though. So how about it? Have I worked hard enough to learn a little about you, or must I open up even more? Oh, goodness. Demanding. Hmm. Well, let's see. I'm afraid I do little outside of work. As I said, it does tend to keep me exceptionally busy. Truth be told, I'm not even here of my own accord. I was asked to attend this event by my employer, you see, and I... Uh, mm, mm. No, nothing's wrong, exactly. It's just, normally I wouldn't be spilling information like that to someone I'd only just met. Very unusual. How is it that you've got me talking like this? Oh, perhaps it's the Elverquist. I suppose it must be. I can't think of any other reason why I'd... But still... <laughs> you caught me getting quite carried away with myself. Easily done, indeed. Look, it's been lovely talking to you, but I think I have to... 
just need to pop out. I may return, but I'm sure we'll bump into each other again soon, if not. At another one of these little soirees, perhaps. No, no, you didn't do anything wrong. Not at all. I've just realised that, uh, just remember that I have to be somewhere else. So I really must depart, I'm afraid. Oh. Uh, don't rush that drink like I just did. Savor the rest of it. Goodbye, for now. Thank you for the conversation. You don't know what you're getting yourself into. Put the knife down, or there'll be trouble for you. Oh, what's that mean, then? Don't know what I'm getting myself into. Is that a threat? No, not a threat. A promise. <laughs> okay then, big man. Whatever you say. Now hand over your shit. I'll do no such... Oh. Oi, fuck off. I'm in the middle of something here. I think you'd best do what he says. You two know each other or something? In a manner of speaking. Really, my friend, you'd best go. Don't worry about me. Do what the fop says. Lest you want me to do you and all. Oi. Back off. I'm not messing around here. If you come any closer, I will run this wank through and you'll be next. Ah! Oh. Ah! Ah, my hands! Oh, my fucking hands! Look what you've done to it! It's burnt to a sizzle! Ah! 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 Oh, fuck! My face! Next! God, no. <laughs> God, no. Okay, fuck this. I'm off. <laughs> Wankers! <laughs> you really did a number on that little worm. <laughs> well done, you. My goodness. Uh, it is you, isn't it? From the party the other night. Yes, I thought so. I'm surprised I can recognise you. Faces all tend to blend together and things like that. I suppose yours <clears throat> stood out. Thank you for your help with that dreadful fellow. Though I assure you, I was in no real danger. Mm, I had enough experience of chaps like that when I was working as a magistrate that I know how to handle myself these days. One particularly nasty experience back then left me with no choice but to stand up for myself in the future. Nonetheless, as I say, thank you. I'm grateful. No, truly, I'm not humouring you. You do continue to surprise me. Perhaps predictably, most people who I'd met at one of those parties wouldn't be half as brave as you are. I'm feeling rather flattered, actually, that you'd do something like that for me. Unless, that is, burning someone's hand to a crisp is a normal second day night for you. Ha! Huh. I could believe it, you know. There's a tenacity about you. Don't tell me if you're joking or not. I'd like, perhaps, to find out for myself one day. Yes, one day, perhaps. I have been thinking, you know, that it was terribly rude of me to dash off like I did last night. It was certainly not how I'd normally treat a new acquaintance. So, yes, I'm sorry about that. Truthfully, I'm not sure why I did. Something about you... The way you were speaking to me, and holding yourself, and showing that you actually had a decent brain knocking around in that handsome skull of yours, it put me off guard. Hells, you're doing it right now. Somehow, you get me talking when I really shouldn't be. It's disarming. Hmm. And then, to have defended me like you did, 
My, my. You really are something. It's hard to believe you're from Baldur's Gate. You're certainly made of better stuff than anybody else I've met from around here. Anyway, I simply had to take myself away to clear my head. I have my employer's interests to think about, you see. So I can't afford to be chatting away and revealing their secrets to just anybody. I'm so glad you understand. That disarming nature of yours could be dangerous, you know, if you chose to abuse it. But I don't get the impression that you would... I think that as long as I'm careful and keep tabs on myself, well, we could get on rather well, don't you think? Hmm, how wonderful that you agree. I was thinking, if we bumped into each other again, and thank gods that we did, I might invite you along to a gallery I've been meaning to attend. It's terribly unfashionable to go to something like that without company, you know? Standing and staring at paintings, wordless and alone, simply wouldn't do. Well, no, perhaps it would be fine. But nonetheless, I feel as though I owe you something, especially after you've saved my skin. So, how about it? Would you care to attend with me? Ha! Huh. Fantastic. The gallery is in the lower city, I'm afraid. Not often I venture there, but it has a certain bohemian charm to it that I think befits the image of a struggling artiste. I hope you don't mind venturing into the more, well, urban portion of Baldur's Gate. Have you spent any time there? Oh, you live there? My goodness. I suppose that's why you so adeptly handled that bugger who was accosting me. That must have been nothing unusual for a dweller of the lower city. I could do with more friends like you. Hmm. Now, the gallery is opposite that palace. Do you know the one? There's an apothecary nearby, I think. I'm not actually familiar with it, but my artist friend who's running the exhibition told me this should be enough to find the place. Ah, uh, good. You know it. Well, then, I'll see you there. Tomorrow night, shall we say, seven? Wonderful. Now, goodness, I must get home. It's so late. Or is it early? The sun's almost up, and I fear this whole thing will leave me with a terrible hangover if I don't get some rest. You have a good day. I'll see you soon. Ah, oh, there you are. So sorry I'm a little late. I was, uh, all tied up with work today and lost track of the time. Here I am now, nonetheless. I have to say, I love your outfit. Looks like you put more effort into this than you did into that party the other night. <laughs> oh, you flatter me. Again. You're ever so good at that. Keep it up and I might start to think... Well, anyway, shall we head inside? I have to say, looks a little gloomy, this gallery, doesn't it? Nothing in the window. One might be led to think. <clears throat> oh, confound it. It's locked. Hello? Anybody? Isn't there supposed to be some kind of exhibition on this evening? I'm so sorry about this. I have no idea why it's not open. Perhaps I got the dates wrong. That, or they just forgot to show up. I wouldn't be surprised. You know what artistic types are like, never sticking to their schedules. Ah, how dreadfully disappointing. I was really looking forward to attending this. With, with you. 
I'd say we could perhaps find a restaurant somewhere nearby, but I'm not sure my stomach's up to lower city fare. Last time I ate here, I came down with three different kinds of food poisoning. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I know what we could do. There's a friend of mine, incredibly wealthy, quite insane, lives nearby, in that enormous palace I mentioned. I've no idea how he affords it. I've never asked. Anyway, he has quite the private collection. I'm sure he wouldn't mind us having a look around in there, if you like. Just for something to do. I know where he keeps a spare key. Oh, no. Honestly, I... I drop in to visit all the time. He's completely used to me making myself at home. He probably won't even know we're there. The place is big enough. Yes, yeah, I think this is rather a good idea, the more I think about it. What do you say? A little odd. What do you mean? Uh, well, if I'm... I, I imagine it's just... Uh, I'm probably just put off balance by the sudden change of plan. I'm not used to being let down like this, so that's all it is, I'm sure. No, no, I'm fine, honestly, absolutely fine. It is... Once again, a demonstration of your kind nature that you chose to worry about me. And, once again, that's not something I'm familiar with, especially in combination with such tenacity as you've shown. It's quite something. Uh, before I get carried away, shall we go? It's only just up the road. A short walk together might be nice. It's a fine evening, after all. One can just barely smell the sewers of the lower city. Delightful. I hope you don't mind me saying that you've been on my mind rather a lot since our first meeting only a couple of days ago. I think it's the surprise... The surprise at meeting someone at a party like that who I actually felt could carry a conversation without boasting and trying to impress me. And then the surprise at that same person showing such bravery and selflessness. I could learn a thing or two from you, I think. I wouldn't say that about most people that I meet. Hmm... You'll recall that I mentioned I was not in attendance at that party of my own accord, that I was asked to attend by my employer. I'm sure you'll remember. It was right before I darted off, so I'm sure it left an impression. Good. Well, I typically attend events like that with the intention of making new contacts with people my employer could... Uh, work with in the future. This means that whatever new bond I form at something like that tends to be surface level at best, if it exists at all. Rarely do I end up talking to someone with whom I actually feel comfortable, and if I do, then my uh, professional nature prevents me from taking much of an interest myself. Am I making any sense? I fear I may not be. Oh. What I mean to say is that it is often hard for me to meet people whom I actually like, and even harder when that does happen, for me to act on it for one reason or another. Well, I'm telling you because... Well, because it's different with you. Whatever it is about you that makes me feel comfortable seems also to have... How can I put this? It has allowed me to set aside my purely professional interests for once and act like a... 
a normal person. <laughs> oh, what a thing to say. But there it is. Hmm. So, how glad I am that you agreed to come along with me. Just a shame that the gallery wasn't actually open, and now we're... Ah, oh, look, good timing. We're just coming up on the gates of the palace. Wonderful. Um, look, hold on just a moment. Let me, uh, let me just try to remember where the keys are. I don't quite... Uh, Yes, yes, I'm fine. Honestly, just don't want to have to let you down again. Though I fear if I can't remember how to get in, I might... Uh, what are you doing? No, 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 don't do that. No, don't, no, don't knock on that gate. Seriously. <laughs> uh, no, I know it does have that enormous and rather tempting knocker, but my friend typically doesn't like it to be used. They prefer not to be disturbed if they aren't expecting company, so I was going to let us in and show you around myself, you see. Uh, no, I suppose it wouldn't be that bad, but uh, um, though now I think about it, I'm not sure the hall in which they keep their private collection is even open. I recall them saying something about renovations or something along those lines, so it's likely completely pointless going in at all. Look, stop! Okay, stop, please. I beg of you. I... I think... I think it would be best... If you went home, clearly this isn't going to work if you won't listen to me. No, really. I think it's time for us to part ways. This was all a silly mistake. I should never have invited you here. I should have listened to my gut when I left the party the other night. Ugh, when you intervened, when I was being accosted by those muggers, I, I was so taken by you. Alas, no. This can't be. Please go. Must I explain? Is my asking not good enough? I know. That's the worst part. I know you're only asking because you care. That's what makes this all so hard. Please know that if there was any way for it to work, I'd be overjoyed to spend time with you. But it can't happen. It just can't. I'm grateful to have met you and to have had the chance to talk with you, if only for the brief time we've had. But this is where it must end. What are you... Gosh. Such warm hands. <laughs> I've... I've been thinking about them. These hands of yours... I always make a comment about people having such warm hands upon shaking for the first time, like I did with you. A habit. People seem to like hearing it. Mm. I've done this so many times, and it not meant anything to me. I wish I could explain why you meaning something, unlike all the others, makes this impossible but it does as much as it kills me to ask you to go as much as I want nothing more than to to oh. 
than to do that. Oh, gods. I really shouldn't have. That was a terrible idea. That was <laughs> a really, really stupid idea. Because now I think I have to do it again. <laughs> Yes. Yes, that confirms it. That was utterly stupid. And I'll regret it for a long time. Damn. Damn. Oh. I'll regret it because it was wonderful. I'll regret it because despite how wonderful it was, I still have to ask you to go... I can't do this, and I can't tell you why, because to tell you would be to doom you. I know. It sounds so melodramatic. But it's true. This isn't my choice. This isn't my choice. <laughs> no. Please don't ask. Please. God, don't ask why. I couldn't tell you if I wanted to. I'm... I'm not allowed to. I... What if we just... What if we just spent the night together? Not doing anything in particular, just... I uh, just want one night. I can't believe I'm asking. It seems like an even more stupid thing to do than that kiss. But now we have shared a kiss. Well, why not fuck things up even more? I'll... I'll be gone by the morning. It'll be like I was never there. It can just... be a fond memory for us both to share. What do you say? Hmm. You said you live in the lower city. Is it nearby? Could I see where you live? Would that be okay? Thank you. Take me there. <laughs> 